Alright, what's up? I am, uh, I was trying to talk to, uh, somebody about, well, something like a, uh, counselor about becoming a monk and all this stuff, and you can't, you know, become a monk if you're getting medication and receiving medication and la-di-dee, la-di-da, so, and then with becoming a monk, you have to take vows, like, you know, you can't be smoking and all that stuff, you gotta just take other vows and all this, so, um, but that's sort of where I'm at, is just kind of ride out this government assistance and financial aid and all this stuff for whatever, getting through hospitalizations, being experimented on. Uh, you know, I have a dream that one day I will be able to take the vows necessary to be a part of a temple or an ashram or a monastery. Uh, just some type of Eastern philosophical uh Eastern philosophical religious organization, uh, but it's going to be, you know, a long time until probably that comes to fruition. So, cause I, I've never felt so much peace, um, in the monastery that I was just at. I've never felt so much peace, uh, just meditating with the teacher or the monk, the head monk, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I know that would be something that would be for life. That would be, cause it'd be hard to get out. It'd be hard to leave. If you leave, it'd be almost nearly impossible to come back. It's something that you would do. Um, obviously if I were to leave, I wouldn't be afraid of, uh, what might happen to me. Um, I don't believe the soul that speaks foully upon religious organizations and everything like that. Um, since they are peaceful movements and this world would not be anything like it is, anything peaceful as it is today without religion. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's, uh, is where I'm at with uh becoming a monk.